How's it going guys? You guys are back with Next Tech Edit and today I figured I'd bring you guys a video on the DJI Spark. Alright, so it is a rather bright day out. I guess I should have worn sunglasses, but nonetheless, let's just go ahead and get started. I do have a few clips, videos, and pictures for you guys. Uh, so I'm just going to go over a few of the things that I noticed, such as to start off with that the battery seems to be going on the bottom this time. Uh, so that was a little bit interesting. In the video you can see there's some wires hanging out. However, it looks like that's where the battery is going to be clipping into. Next up is it is not a foldable drone. Now, a lot of people are giving this a negative thought. In my opinion, it's a little bit more on the positive side. It may not make it as portable, but even unfolded or not being able to be folded, it's still smaller than the Mavic. So this being said is you only get 5,000 folds with the Mavic arms, which could be a downside. Of course, it's going to take you a while to get to 5,000 sides, and then connections start, you know, bending, pinching, you know, failing, uh, and that's going to be well out of your warranty. So while, meanwhile, you may not reach that. For someone that uses it quite a bit, you will reach it and you may get to uh, replace it with a new one before your warranty ends so if you don't the new DJI Mav or Spark will take care of that by not being able to have any foldable arms so that's one less thing you have to worry about moving parts aren't always the best thing even if it you know comes down to portability uh, so with that being said I find that to be an upside of the DJI Spark uh, if it's not too much I may be getting my hands on it and trying to order it uh, at the beginning when it first comes out. Next up, uh, above the camera, you can see that there's a bar that looks like an infrared sensor. Uh, that's what basically we're gonna go with is it's an infrared sensor and then you can see there's some flashing lights in the right side, whereas the left side may be the obstacle avoidance. However, we're not 100% sure yet. All right, and lastly, actually there's gonna be one after this, but next up is going to be the fact that it's going to be probably a two axis gimbal. You can see when it moves left and right that it stays rather steady, but as it goes up and down, it's really jittery. Uh, so it looks like it's only going to be a two axis gimbal instead of the three that we're used to on the Phantom series and the new Mavic. And then just a thing that I noticed was a color difference. There seems to be some black shells and some white shells. I don't know if that'll make it out uh, as an option for people. I don't see why they would, even though they have done it with like the Chi Chinese New Year and the Black Phantom 4. Uh, so maybe they'll be doing something similar where you could pick a color black or white, uh, especially when it's coming down to something like a, it's not really a micro drone, but a mini drone series, stuff like that. But yeah, so that's pretty much all I have for you guys. Take a look at the videos. Uh, definitely drop a like, you know, subscribe, share the video, and definitely leave a comment if you guys want to hear some more uh, updates or something about another product. And uh, I'll try and bring you guys some information on it. Thanks for watching. I'll catch you guys in the next video.